Energy, energy, come and get that energy. Energy, energy, come and get that energy. Energy, energy, come and get that energy. Energy, energy, come and get that energy, my friend. Where your energy at today? It don't stop. Rain, sleet, snow, it don't stop. It's the most beautiful snowy day, and not to mention, it is Super Bowl day. Welcome to Super Bowl Sunday, my friends. I get so, so excited when big sporting events is coming to town, especially football. Woo, this is the most amazing time of the year, right? Hopefully, the cases of domestic violence will come down today because many of you may not know, Super Bowl night, Super Bowl day is the biggest day for domestic violence reports. So let's keep the domestic violence down and let's enjoy the Super Bowl. Bengals or Rams, who you got? Who you got? Make sure you enjoy it, my friend. Don't let it pass you by. Don't get caught up talking so much, trying to live vicariously through the players that you lose sight of the game. Stay in the moment, stay in the present. That's why it's called a present, right? You gotta be able to open it up. But first, I got a question I wanna pose to you. Do you like watching the Super Bowl with just anybody? See, I don't. I either want to watch it by myself or with other people who I know for a fact either played the game or know the game intimately, right? Because this is the day when everybody not only tries to live vicariously through the players, but they also start talking about their past potential. You know what? If I was in that situation, I would have did this. When I played Little League football, I did this and this. Come on now. It becomes a room full of excuse makers, right? And it becomes allergic to my ears. That's why I don't like watching football with just anybody, right? And I feel like telling them, right? I feel like standing up and saying, everybody shut up. <laughs> and I feel like seeing this and listening at this. Potential is not enough, right? It's not enough just to have potential, let me explain. See, here's the thing. I know, I know it feels real good standing on the sideline, talking about the game, and also talking about what you could do, could have, should have, would have potentially done, right? But you gotta be real careful, right? Because that mentality can become detrimental to your progress. Let me explain a little deeper, right? Let me explain a little deeper. See, staring at your potential for too long, talking about your potential for too long, bragging, becoming overconfident about your potential for too long will blind you to the fact, my friend, that you really gotta do it. After you've done all that talking, after you've done all of that proposing and potential, you got to go and do it. That's all that matters, right? And here's three reasons why standing on the sideline is not enough. No. You got to get in the game, my friend. Got to get in the game. Number one, never forget this, right? Never forget. We all got potential, right? But once you reach that level of, of potential, your potential then goes higher. So you never fully reach your potential. Again, number one, potential is only potential until it's maximized, right? Until you actually manifest it, until you do something with it, right? And number two, never forget this, right? Number two, Talking about promising, coulda, shoulda, woulda, all that talking about what you can potentially do means absolutely nothing until you actually get up and get it done, my friend. Results don't lie. In fact, the only thing that matter is results. So all that talking, all that potential, putting on social media, I'm about to start this company, I'm about to do this and this and this, you get all of the praise right then, oh, good job, way to go. You get the praise as if you did it. So then most people, when it's time to do it, they got added pressure on themselves because now all the social media people is expecting it. You already put your word out there, not just to the people, but to the universe. 
The universe is also holding you accountable, my friend. So then when you go and flop and don't do it, here you go, of making excuses, lying to the people, making excuses about uh, who thought it was, but you can't make an excuse to the universe. God created this perfect universe, and guess what? The universe keeps a perfect score. So now you're out of alignment with the universe, and now you're wondering why you can't manifest the things you wanna manifest. Stop talking about what you're gonna do and just get it done and let the results of what you did do the talking for you. Make sense? Makes sense to me too, right? And number three, you gotta develop a greatness mindset. A mind bold enough to believe, right? <laughs> yeah, welcome to Super Bowl Sunday. You gotta be bold enough to believe that it's literally impossible to make a basket if you're not bold enough to take the shot, my friend. So it ain't no matter talking about what you coulda, shoulda, woulda did. Because if it's really in you, go and do it. Get it done. Go and manifest it, my friend. Potential is only potential until it's maximized. Never forget this, my friend. You were born to be great.